Good afternoon, folks. I'm uh, here with um, Andrew and Angeline Griggs um, with some exciting news for particularly for salon owners in North Queensland. Andrew and Angeline uh, were very successful salon owners uh, and members of Worldwide Salon Marketing several years ago and, and sold their um, salon uh, for a, a huge profit uh, after they uh, had uh, used our marketing tools and, and, uh, and strategies for, for several years. So I'd just like to introduce Andrew and Angeline Griggs. Hello. Hey, how are you, Andrew? <laughs> Great. Um, well, tell your story. You, you became very successful at what you were doing in your salon called Nails and Beauty with Attitude. Yeah. Tell us how it happened. Well, um, I was very busy in the business and nearly pulling my hair out because just working 60 hours as you do as a salon owner, and um, yeah, you just didn't have time to scratch yourself except all your staff were sort of standing around half the time. And you had little gaps in your appointments, so it wasn't very cost effective for staff. And you're just so full on doing your own clients, you just didn't have time to work on the business. And I didn't even really know that I had to <laughs> to make it successful. So Andrew was doing the bookwork out the back and um, helping with our IT because we just got a computer and that was where we weren't very savvy with that. So that's where we were. And then when we went to Beauty Expo and got your letter, um, just before we went, Andrew was very impressed with the letter and he sort of dragged me along which I was terrified <laughs> the whole time because I wanted exactly what was happening and, and those salon owners that were on the stage I wanted that but I was so terrified to to do it because I, I if I failed this well then that would be like I'm really a failure then because they were so successful and they said it was so easy so Yes, to hand over three thousand five hundred dollars, I was very scared. She was, <laughs> and I was so scared. I come home and didn't do anything for a few weeks. So Andrew got sick and tired of waiting for me this time, and um, he started things rolling. So that was very exciting, and we saw action straight away in the salon. So what happened, uh, Andrew? What did you? What, where did you come from? What was the uh, starting point and where did you get to um, doing what you did? Yeah, well, we were going along okay. We um, were increasing by about 10% a year for about three or four years there. And then when we got your letter and, but, you know, you know, sales go up, but expenses go up and mm -hmm. we're sort of, sort of struggling and uh, treading water and not getting anywhere. And then really... Um, rung true what I read in your letter and I really wanted to uh, try this and um, we went to the as Ange said to the seminar and we got the toolkit which was awesome and what we got going once was the $10 vouchers where we gave to the client and then one for their friend and that just made a huge difference just doing that mm. um, within a month or so, I think we started sending out the uh, dead letter clients uh, to inactive clients to get them back in and that had excellent uh, success so mm. once we've seen that I just got more involved in it and got things rolling a lot more faster and um, it just picked up from there. Mm. That getting double the amount of clients just you know we had such beautiful clients and they all had such beautiful friends so they were all able to give their friends a $10 voucher. So then we got beautiful people with beautiful friends who then got beautiful friends and it just kept multiplying and it didn't even cost us anything and it was $10 off. That was, that was just huge and, and it didn't even cost us anything to do. Which you know We had a $5,000 ad in Yellow Pages and it brought us in one thirty-nine dollars client every year. So we just decided to take, as you suggested, take that $5,000 ad out um, of, of um, yellow pages and put that $5,000 towards marketing that would actually work. And yeah, boy, did we see a difference. We didn't even spend $5,000 in that year. I think it got to around 3,800 we actually spent and we did so much marketing and it worked, it was simple and, 
our phones were ringing off the hook and it was ridiculous. It was very exciting and it went very fast mm. and it rocked. <laughs> yeah, funny if that yellow page is that we were thinking of not having it, but we were going to do it the direct response marketing way. And one of the things you had was to tear out this ad. Mm-hmm. And didn't that kick up a stink with Yellow Pages rep and, and the company said, no, you can't do that. And so well, that's made our decision. We're not going to put a Yellow Pages ad in. Say 5000 we'll just use that money weekly or monthly with the newspapers and, and our other marketing. And, yeah, it made way more money than, mm-hmm. than just the uh, Yellow Pages ad there. Yeah, we didn't even need it. <laughs> so what were your numbers when you started? What were your numbers when you started compared with uh, what, what they were when you finished? Uh, and sold the salon. Yeah, I've got it. Some of us, 220,000, I think. We were, that was the year we joined. And then we went up to 600, and oh, I think I'll have it here quickly, but I do have it there. But yeah, we went in th- three years from 220,000 to 600, and uh, I think it was 20 or 30,000 uh, in turnover. and, and that was with Ange working less and less on clients, working more on the business, mm-hmm. doing the marketing. And then the last year, she finished in the financial year in October. That was her last client she ever did. And for the rest of the eight months of the financial year, she just worked on the business, which was only a couple of days a week, one day marketing, one day making sure all the training and procedures were being followed. And we made the most money that year. So. Mm-hmm. That's much better <laughs> for us and for the business. Yeah. Funny how it happens when you get out of the business, it makes more money. Mm. Yes. And I was so scared to um, commit to that day off because, you know, you think you're going to lose money because you're not doing as many clients. So I kept it to the two hours for months, you know, and then you could see how great that was going. So oh, I'll, I'll take off the morning. So I took off the morning and then I slowly did one day. But oh, as soon as we started to just put one day a week into working on the business together, it just powered along. And then I got itchy to, you know, I loved my clients and I loved doing nails and beauty. But yeah, I could really see how working on the business was just more powerful than working in it. And so then we set about with systems and policies and procedures and that was just, we went away for the weekend and just, yeah, went and and nailed that and got that all organised and sorted in Salon as well. So not only were we busy, but then we had the best team ever, all with policies, procedures, systems, which, you know, we copied from the other successful salons, so it was such a breeze to do. And yeah, we were so thankful. Um, yeah, very thankful. That one day marketing was a really tough day because we went to Palm Cove, <laughs> up north of Cairns, and there was a nice restaurant there on the beach, and they had a side area with a, a table. And we asked them whether we could use that area, and they said, yep, sure. So we uh, took the laptop along there, did all our marketing, had lunch, could mm-hmm. see through the restaurant to the beach. Tough day. Yeah. Uh, uh. Now, you come, now, why have you come back to us? You, you want to offer your expertise to other Queensland salon owners who are struggling as you were. Now, yeah. That, yeah what, well, that's what can you offer them? That's the prime motive. We've been doing other, other work. Um, I've been truck driving, things like that. Want to get back to a business, but it's mainly because the other... I was trying to do a bit of a window cleaning business about a year ago and here in Atherton, knocking on all the shop windows in the main street. None of them could afford $15 to get their windows clean. Uh, and the, but our Atherton, near here where we live, is this hair salon, nail salon, hair salon, one after the other. You can get three or four just in one area. And when I went around to them, there was only the owner uh, sitting down waiting for a client or there was the owner with one client and... The apprentices waiting around doing it, nothing. So it just reawakened our thing of how sad it is for salons. So yeah. They don't know how to market their own salon to make it successful. And you know, we just really felt bad for them. <laughs> but, well, we can help them and them helping us. You know, we help them, that helps us, we can help them. And it'll be a win-win for all of us. So what are you going to offer them? What, what can you do to help them? 
Well, I know I was very scared and nervous to do anything to start with. So, you know, they can either have one of your fabulous packages, which you've just got so sorted now, um, and get started straight away if they're a self-motivator. But like me, yeah. I was super scared and I needed Andrew to do something for me first and get that going. So that's what we're offering basically is support to any of the salons there who, who, who want this. They, they want it easy, they want the money coming in, they want their life back. Um, and to be able to go and help them have that free consultation just to start with, see what you need, what, where you want to go with your business, and then we can help you get started so that, you know, it takes all the hard things away. Like we had to do it all ourselves, whereas, you know, having somebody to come consult with you and actually help you every week to get started until you're right to go on your own because it's so easy, but just that start-up. I really appreciated Andrew doing that for me to begin with. So that's what we're offering, a free consultation to help businesses get started and, and get going. Mm -hmm. and, and I guess that, that's what stops a lot of people because the whole, um, the whole area of marketing a business is kind of overwhelming, isn't it? Yes. Very mm. much so, especially when you're not mm. used to just direct response marketing. Mm. All you've done is what everybody else does, a pretty <laughs> picture and some bullet points. And I've seen it in the local papers here recently. Mm. And I said to Ange, what, what is this treatment? <laughs> I've got no idea. And we were in a beauty salon. <laughs> uh, it's so sad what you see with the with mm. people. And, and that's all we know. But to learn a new way of marketing, it's, it's a bit of a learning curve. And because you're stuck in your business and you don't have the time, you just need that bit of help to get going. And once you get going, see the results, mm -hmm. then you can take off. Yeah. And then, you know, they've got us to, to help them begin with and then they have your whole amazing team to back them up as well. You know, for a business like ours, you know, I'm so grateful because Andrew could do websites and, and so fantastic at that. But you know, if you're a, a woman in business and you don't know how to do your own website, if you don't know how to get on Google so that you can be top three, you know, all of that is so invaluable to have your team do all of that and, and you don't even have to worry about that side because you do everything like that. You just have to worry about getting those other clients and keeping your clients organised with what amazing things you have that they can spend their money at your salon. <laughs> so what can you promise a salon owner who's, who's really can't see the wood for the trees at the moment, um, really struggling? What can you promise in terms of results? Oh, we can definitely double what they're doing now. Simple. <laughs> double it. Just, just easy peasy. Double it. <laughs> and we have all the marketing that worked in our salon as well. Um, and we've got that to give them just to get them started very quickly. Like we took our time because we were scared and we didn't sort of, we had to do it ourselves. But, you know, they have us and we know exactly what they need to do to get there quickly. If that's what they want to do, if they want to be free and have lots of customers and double their money, that's just way too easy. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> well, it sounds like it's a no-brainer. If I was a struggling salon owner in Queensland and I was looking for some way to get out of get get out of the trouble that I'm in, um, uh, what would I do? What, what do I do first? You would have to ring us and or email us. Um, so that we can come and sit down with you just for the hour, just to see what you want in out of life. You know, do you want to be in your salon working on it, or and just be a bit busier because that's easy peasy, or do you want to get out of your business and work on your business and have a lot of staff and you know a great team working for you, earning lots of money so you could go on holidays and and you can have the life, or do you want to? you know, have lots of salons all around. It depends um, it, on the individual and what they want as to how we can tailor that for them. Mm. All right, what's the phone number? Phone number is mine. <laughs> um, it's 04-07-07-5566 or you can email, which Andrew will answer you on email. 
Angeline, <coughs> excuse me, Angeline at marketingwithattitude.com.au. Easy to so, so it's a no-brainer, really. Yeah. And why we're marketing with attitude is because it's not like any other marketing you will ever do. <laughs> it's completely opposite as, you know, you taught us to anything else. Um, we tried to do it on our own and it was hopeless. But to get the response just from doing something completely opposite to what everybody else tells you to do is amazing. And that's why we loved um, working with you, Greg, mm. and, and being marketing with attitude because we just love that style. Mm. It's the old story, isn't it? Um, you look at what everybody else is doing and pretty much turn 180 degrees and do it exactly the opposite and you're on pretty much the right track. Yeah. But what is it? Come and call us and find out. <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Look forward to working with you. And, and if you can help salons, it helps everybody because yeah. if nobody's making any money, no taxes are paid, no schools are built, no hospitals staffed. So that helps the economy. As uh, Zig Ziglar once said, go out and sell something. Your country needs the business. Yeah. It does. <laughs> <laughs> and, and salon owners need a life as well yeah. because having a life um, that's, beautiful um, is part of it as well you can be the best at what you do but if you don't have a life well that's a bummer <laughs> this way you get to have a life you get to have a busy salon you still get to be an artist it's it's the life it's the best life so you've got room for maybe 10 salons in in Queensland initially yeah initially and then probably about seven a month after that because mm -hmm. you know we we want a lifestyle as well. We don't <laughs> be working, you know, seven days a week ourselves. We aren't going to be doing one day a week with new clients, and then one day a week with existing clients, mm. and um, our other work. So we, we've got things to do. We've got a life as well. So mm. we don't, we can't do uh, too many people at a time. Yeah. Terrific. Thanks very much, and uh, all success to you and and to the salon owners that you uh, you bring in to help. Thanks, Chris. Right. Thanks very much, Greg.